Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a eye look using Makeup Geek eyeshadows and then I touched it up with some moon dust from Urban Decay. So if you want to see how I came up with this peacock eye look using Makeup Geek and Urban Decay, please stay tuned. Well, let's get started with this peacock eye look. As you can see, I started actually with a lot of the basics done on my face. I just have a little bit to touch up once I'm done with the eye look, such as highlighter. That could be the only thing I have left to touch up. Using a Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush, I'm going to actually start a little high in the transition color, and I'm going to start with Frappe. And with Windshield Wiper Motions, we are going to add Frappe above the crease and into the transition. We're going to just take this out a little bit. And in the morning, I like my coffee, so a frappe always puts a smile on my face. So what I'm trying to do, since we are doing a peacock-esque look, is to ground that the bright colors and use some neutrals to kind of keep it toned down and not as circus wild. I'm sure it's still going to turn out circus wild. It could be a hot mess but the neutrals will always ground whatever kind of bright colors you're going to use. So if you are going to get into some bright colors, you may want to figure out how you're going to add some neutrals. And good morning. I'm not having a frappe, but I'm having a coffee. Okay, so next in this look, I'm going to bounce around, I think, on my eye a little bit, which will cause some havoc and funny that the name of the next eyeshadow is called Havoc. It's kind of a brownish green. Um, it is a duochrome from Makeup Geek. I have a feeling I'm going to use a lot of brushes today. So with Havoc, this is actually a Tarte brush. This may have came from the Bunny collection, but it's flat and fluffy. So we're going to take some of that Havoc and go in Kind of coming up to our crease line, and we're going to come in about a third of the way. Now, even though Havoc is a green, it's got some neutral undertones. that again are gonna ground the rest of the bright color. What I like about duochrome eyeshadows is when you turn your head, you'll get different colors that pop and it always makes your eye a little more interesting. And Makeup Geek has some great duochromes in both the pans and they just recently re-released their pigments. So if you've never used a duochrome eyeshadow, you should look into it because they are fun. I'm going to take a little bit of Fuji, which is a nice bright apple green, which is probably why they called it Fuji for Fuji apples. We're going to apply a little bit of this on another flat brush. And we're going to go slightly above our Havoc Duochrome, slightly to the right or the left of our Havoc because we're going to take a blending brush shortly and just tap on that. I'm actually going to use the other side of that flat brush that had Fuji on it and I'm going to go in with this glass slipper from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to try rounding now. So we're starting to get a nice 
peacock color going. With another flat brush or flat fluffy brush, we're gonna go in with the color peacock. And we're gonna go slightly above our last color, kind of in that crease line and bringing it down. Maybe slightly into above the Fuji. Sometimes patting the colors on that eyelid with the flat brush just makes it a lot easier to use. I'm gonna now go in a little bit with one of my Morphe 501 brushes and just kind of smooth that out. And don't worry if you're losing a bit of your transition color when you do this because we're actually gonna go in, in a, one towards the end and we're going to go back in with that transition color and smooth out any of these bright lines. So the transition color, when we started with it, was so we could build up to that, and then um, we'll use it again to soften at the end. Okay, so that, that softened that bright peacock. We will next take this bright blue color here called Neptune. another flat brush. We're going to take Neptune straight up from the edge here and working it just a little bit on top of Peacock. Again, I'm patting to get the most payoff on color. And then we'll smooth it out with a blending brush. And as you can see, when you take your blending brush, it does lighten those colors. So that's why I wanted to go in really bright ahead of time because I knew once I took the blending brush to it, it would diffuse that blue. You can definitely see a difference. And it sounds like the pups are awake. So be prepared. I'm already sorry for any barking, shaking, or interruptions. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and stop with the color for a moment and we are going to shift to an eyeliner. The reason why I'm going to do that is I need my eyeliner in place before we add some more color. So one of my friends, Misty, introduced me to the Tardiest double-sided eyeliner. This one's great. On one side it is liquid and on the other side it's a pencil. The great part to this is it's extremely pigmented. So I'm extremely grateful for her recommendation. Okay, so once we get that smoothed out, we are going to do a wing. And I know we have some fallout. We'll fix that also. Once we have our wings in place, and my wings are always distant cousins, not sisters, not identical twins. So 
I'm just not good at the wings. Now what we're gonna do is take a bit of the purple on a flat brush also. And I'm just going to lightly put that above the wing. We're gonna take my 501 brush again. And gently dab and smooth that color in. So we do have a bit of the purple. We are going to go back with our transition color frappe and lightly go back above all the colors. towards the eyebrow, and we're going to windshield wiper motion that. So once we soften that out, we're going to go in with White Lies, and we're going to mix that a bit with Voltage. And we're going to clean up underneath the brow bone. The white lies adds some nice white color to it, and the voltage is another kind of duochrome color, so I'm going to get a nice pretty shine that picks up as I move my head around. And then lightly on the inner corner, I'm going to take Mirage. Matt, I just wiped off that brush that I just used for under the brow bone. And I'm going to sweep this Mirage just right here and kind of going down a little bit under the inner corner. I want to highlight, but I don't want a bright white next to these colors. I think it would make those colors stand out, so I'm just using a complementary color to highlight. It's almost like my skin tone, but it softens anything that I've done here with color. I'm just going to soften and blend it. So we have some blue, and we are going to clean that up right now. So using a little bit of liquid water on a Q-tip, I'm going to take that and I'm just going to roll that Q-tip up backwards as I'm going up. And as you can see, that cleaned it up and it left a little bit of the blue on the outside of the eyeliner, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm not going to totally clean up the um, under eye yet with the concealer because I'm going to go ahead and finish the under eye and kind of match the colors underneath the eye to what we did on top. So I'm going to take the blue that I had with the Fuji Apple. And I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my Fuji. I'm going to sweep that along the under eye where the Fuji was so that I'm matching. I'll wipe that brush off. And I'm going to go in with the Peacock. And do the same. And bring it up to that blue that we have on the outer corner. So we're going to blend that in. Going back to Havoc, we will take Havoc on the inner corner, or inner third. Next, I'm going to take, I've used this brush a ton. It's a MAC fine, it's kind of like a fine dome point pointed brush, but I've rubbed the numbers off. So I'm going to take this and use this just as my way of blending. And if I feel like my eye has gone down too far, again, you can take a wet Q-tip and just kind of rub that extra off, and then we'll go in and, and clean that up with some concealer.
Now I'll take some concealer by Tarte, and this is called Fairly Light Neutral. Now that don't look crazy. Once we've applied the concealer, we're gonna take our beauty blender and just smooth that out. Okay, we're gonna use some setting powder go in and set the under eye area and since I got a little crazy with the concealer I think I wiped off half my blush so I will go back in with my warm sole from MAC now we're gonna prep for falsies as always I will take my eyelash glue and I dot it on my eyelid next to my eyelashes where I'm going to put the falsies to give um, my falsies glue, my eyelid glue, and then they stick a little better instead of sliding as I try to put them on. We're going to be using the Ardell lashes today. This is in glam this is a glamour pack and 101 but these are nice and thick so I thought that would be fantastic for our wings on our peacock eye look we're gonna fan our falsies get a little bit of that glue drying and getting it tacky so I get these lined up the middle of the eyelash with the middle of my eye that gives me a good starting point to apply them. And when I get it balanced, I'm gonna take my tweezers on each end and press the edges right into place. When I get them in, I'm gonna push up to be watching I hope you come out with individual larger sizes because I have a feeling that specter is not going to last long in this palette I'm going to take a morphe flat brush and I'm going to go on to the green and we are going to go underneath on the green we're going to use the same brush and um, the green is actually called Lightyear. I guess it kind of looks like Buzz Lightyear. And the blue is Vega. So we're gonna take the blue and go right along where we popped that, kept that blue on the outer side. We're gonna brighten that up. And those just absolutely brightened up that I love. These are stunning, absolutely stunning. And then my lovely sister Cass bought this for me for my birthday last month and I couldn't wait to try it. So now that I have it, I am so glad I just didn't go off of what was on the internet as far as how they look because these are stunning in person. So if you don't have this palette or you don't think you might be able to use it because of how it looks online, let me tell you, it is amazing and you will find a way to sneak these colors in, I promise. And this concludes my peacock eye look. 
Once again, I want to thank you so much for watching my tutorial today. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've had the opportunity to watch a few of my tutorials and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And don't forget to refer me to a friend or family member as referrals are appreciated. I do want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because there are so many wonderful, beautiful artists out there doing amazing eye tutorials or looks. I'm inspired every day myself by them. And because you've taken your time to watch one of mine, that, I, that means the world to me. So I've said thank you a million times, and I'll probably say thank you a million times more. But I hope you have a wonderful day and make it a beautiful one.